Hi, Intuitive D1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being part of our Diamond Star City family, y'all. Um, thank you guys for liking, um, you know, the videos that you enjoy and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you can know when I upload. I love reading you guys' comments. I don't get a chance to reply to all of them, uh, but we do cut up in the comments. So let's see what we have here. All right, it says, I have been telepathically communicating with you. Okay, so somebody over here. Um, they can feel like you're telepathically communicating with them as well here. Somebody really can't um, escape whatever feelings that they have for you. This is somebody that has tried. Yeah, but they're always getting signs of you, okay? They're always getting um, reminders about you, yeah. If, if there's distance, it says it doesn't feel a, uh, right being apart from you, okay? So somebody over here, they feel like something's off. <laughs> Something off within their life without you around. Okay. Most definitely. What else? It says you taught me a lot spiritually here. So you've definitely helped someone go through a spiritual awakening. Okay. You definitely could have been a catalyst for someone to go through a spiritual awakening. I'm hearing that they can't see things the same way anymore here. So somebody has really just opened somebody's eyes. To what's really going on around them yeah it definitely could have been a lot for somebody here because it says this connection with you triggers my insecurities yeah so i'm hearing what what flew with what flew with other people doesn't fly with you and that's what i'm hearing here yeah now somebody's over here thinking about how they're making a decision to pursue pursue you and only you okay i keep seeing the word planning in my mind, somebody is planning something. Okay. Yeah. It says, this connection with you has made me want to be a better person. I often see your face in my mind. Wow, damn. What y'all done did? <laughs> what y'all done did to somebody? Baby, they are really in their feelings. Okay. If you feel like they haven't been thinking about you, it says, I woke up today thinking about you. So, yeah, no. You were heavily on somebody's mind here. Um, I mean, you just... Your entire presence really just changed someone here. It says, I knew the moment I looked into your eyes that you were special to me. So this person could really love your eyes. For some of you, they really love your smile as well. Yeah, you got this person wondering if they done had a past life with y'all. What they should be thinking about is what the hell they did in that past life. <laughs> so that they, uh, they can, uh, what do you call it, correct the course this lifetime. Okay. That's for somebody there. What else? What else is going on here that you guys need to know in your fan club here? Wow. Yeah, we have enjoy. It says, I just want to hear the sound of you laughing. So somebody really does want to see you happy, okay? Um, and this person knows that they've hurt you a lot. They know they've caused a lot of tears. Yeah, we have plotting, sneaking, secretly planning. Didn't I just say planning? Somebody over here is planning... Uh, not get away. <laughs> Somebody planning how they could, uh, maybe they do want to get away with y'all. I don't know, right? Um, this person's feeling insecure, though. We got to turn off the lights. They feel real insecure here. They're wondering whether or not you're going to accept them back here. Okay, but feed me in reverse because you're not feeding to that connection the same way you used to. A lot of you have pulled back your energy. You've been focusing on yourself here. Okay, and somebody definitely can feel it. The last one I'm seeing. All right, so what else? What does the collective need to know right now? Whew, we got the Page of Swords. Not the Magician Reverse. Oh, somebody feels like they can't manifest y'all back. Or somebody feels like whatever... Uh, magic they were doing is not working they're feeling powerless here what is this about oh yeah so this is yet again okay i don't know if they done paid somebody i don't know if they're doing it themselves subliminally okay by thinking about you all the time or for some of you all thinking about you while they having that one-on-one -on -one time if you know what i mean somebody's over here trying to manifest y'all back but with the eight of cups reverse here 
it's because, you know, they can't let you go. But with the world card here, I feel like you guys have already decided that, you know, it's better for you to close out a chapter here. Or maybe this person here, because they can't let you go, and they're realizing that whoever they were dealing with was very manipulative here. They could even have kids involved for some of you. Um, for others of you, they feel like they were dealing with somebody that was just very childish, very insecure, okay, constantly accusing them of different things. Somebody is wanting to put an end to the drama, okay? Whoever they were dealing with very well could not, um, could struggle to let them go, okay? That person could even be, they could have already distanced themselves from that person or there is some type of uh, difference that's involved here, okay? The bottom line, whatever... I don't know. I'm seeing some powerless magic is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Somebody definitely feels like they have a soul connection with you, okay? They definitely feel like you're the person they should be spending time with in the morning when they wake up. That's what I'm getting here. So somebody definitely knows they have to release something else. If you have the Eight of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups upright, that's the Two of Cups reversed. So somebody over here is definitely releasing another connection because the Two of Cups is a relationship. They feel at odds with this person. They feel like the love is gone or it wasn't there. They feel like they're they they're done with that. They need to release that. For some of you, they already have had the conversation to do so. Yeah, the hermit card here. So now somebody definitely could just be taking time healing, okay? Planning how they can come towards you. This is someone that some of you have not talked to in a while. They have a lot of regrets here. A lot of regrets. Yeah, we got the high priestess over here. Somebody knows that you are very intuitive, okay? Wow. We have opposite star signs here. We have Virgo and we have Pisces. We have Aries, Aries in detriment. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, mm, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Yeah, this is someone that secretly knows that you're the person that they want to be with. Okay, or you're the person that they want to build with here. They've really struggled to get out of another another uh, connection or another karmic contract. Or for some of you, the four of wands could have even been family. Somebody was really struggling to disconnect from something else here. But now they're feeling like too much time has gone on. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. And we have Judgment. Yeah, this is somebody that wants reconciliation with y'all. They definitely do. But your spiritual team is looking at them all kinds of crazy for the <laughs> for the way that they treated you. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone definitely uh, could be under spiritual judgment for how they treated you. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, the Ten of Wands here. It's a heavy burden for somebody. It's a heavy burden for them staying in a what other whatever other situation they were in or whoever else they were listening to. They feel completely burdened within that situation. Yeah, so they're walking away with the Eight of Cups here, and now they're planning. They're planning what their next move is here. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. This is definitely somebody's match to the Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody that was meant to be a match for you. You guys were meant to have some type of commitment together here. I'm hearing somebody fell for the okie doke. So whoever they were dealing with, they definitely fell, you know, or got involved with somebody. And with, with it being the king of pentacles there, it's like that's somebody that either expects them to take care of them or expects them to... Uh, yeah, for a lot of you, it has to do with uh, finances. Yeah, that person expects them to uh, financially support them. We have the Three of Pentacles here. I do see you guys having success when it comes towards, you know, your endeavors, your work. For some of you guys, this is a new opportunity or this is some type of promotion or this is um, some type of new job here. This is because of the work that you've put in. Um, but with the three of pentacles here, somebody definitely could be telling a third party, like, listen, like for some of you, they're not even, they're not even smashing this third party anymore. They already feel like it's over and done. 
Okay, it could be that third party that could be paying somebody for spell work or doing spell work themselves that doesn't want to accept that a situation is over here. I feel like this person is trying to get rebalanced. They're trying to focus on their stability here. Okay, this person has had to be really resilient in whatever situation they've been dealing with because this person they were dealing with definitely took them through it. Yeah, I feel like whoever they were dealing with really put on a front like they loved them, they cared about them, you know, they would do whatever for him, right? And then in reality, they started to see that person as cold, manipulative, and narcissistic here. <clears throat> so they're holding back from that energy. And there's nothing but drama, yeah. With the devil here and the five of wands, that's just ongoing drama. And then whoever they're dealing with over here um, has a problem that y'all are inspiring this person to heal with the star card, Okay. And they also have a problem with this person seeing you as the star, okay? Seeing you as somebody that is, you know, um, enlightened, right? You inspire this person to have faith to make changes within their life here. And somebody else they're dealing with and this toxic ass energy doesn't like it. Oh, well. <laughs> right? Like, oh, well. Man, somebody needs to, uh, I'm hearing grow up. Somebody needs to grow up. Like, what was someone even thinking when they chose this person and went back to this person here? Because that is way too much drama. Anything else? What else? Ooh, damn. Somebody holding a grudge for real, y'all. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that is straight possessed. I'm going to put it out there. With his eyes like that, somebody could be feeling um, envy or um, hatred or just jealousy watching you guys secretly. This is someone that's been keeping tabs on you. Yeah. Your doppelganger over here, your copycat, whoever else this person has been dealing with, um, that's mad that the magic ain't hitting the way that they thought it was, okay? This person that wants to be like you, act like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. This person here, it's like they want, they want to wear your energy, but your energy is not conducive for their body here, okay? It's like somebody trying to be like you, but, um, baby, it'll never be a DNA match. I don't even know why I said DNA. For some of you, it could be questions about paternity as well here. Woo, somebody got themselves all the way caught up in a situation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just miserable. Okay, wakes up just to project their misery onto somebody else. They don't know what they got themselves involved with dealing with this third party. They really don't. Yeah, somebody could be really bitter as well. That somebody has cut them off or that somebody... They could have even told this person, listen, if we have kids, let's just be cordial. Like, if we, you know, there's nothing else that needs to be going on. And somebody could very well not handle that. Or they could have told this person, like, listen, um, you know... I'll help you get yourself together here and there. But as far as you and I, like it's a wrap because somebody has been taken through it. They feel like they, they feel like they were dealing with an actor or an actress here. Yeah. This third party here, it says viewed as the enemy in a third party relationship here. Yeah. And whoever they're dealing with can't stand that you guys are vibrating high, that you're minding your own business here. So this is somebody, <laughs> Yeah, this is who they attracted because with selfish looking for the next best thing, like somebody definitely was in that energy and that's who they attracted. And now they feel like having that mentality backfired. Wow, they are really regretting their choices. Mir miserable, please. What is going on with miserable? <laughs> yeah, they miserable because they tripping on y'all. That's what it is. And they're tired of seeing this person that they've been dealing with constantly tripping on y'all. For some of you with jilted left at the altar, runaway bride or groom here, it's like somebody could have, um, maybe this third party thought that this person was going to, uh, I don't know, 
it's given the energy of somebody called off an engagement or the energy that somebody wishes that they did not marry somebody. Take it as it resonates here. And somebody's holding a big ass grudge here. Now they're thinking about, now they've been thinking about how they could get rid of y'all with annihilate intentions to destroy or remove someone from the picture. Cause they feel like you're the reason why this person won't settle down with them. <laughs> wow. Somebody needs some help y'all. They really do. Because, no, you know, nobody can make anybody settle down. It has to be in their heart to want to settle down. And I feel like this person has had a change of heart. They no longer want to, they no longer want to give to that situation here. And for some of you, this person's been dealing with somebody else anyways. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, this person over here that's been doing the most is definitely giving bust down energy, okay, incubus or succubus energy. Somebody is just upset that they don't have, that they can't control this person in the same way anymore here. That's what it is. Or for some of you, you could have an ex that feels that way about you. Yeah, because somebody is seeing that you guys are very loved. You're very respected here. Okay, a lot of people enjoy being around you. Somebody definitely could have tried to um, speak lies about you. Somebody is realizing that whoever was doing that was just bitter. Okay, was just bitter and they were just really jealous. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so they could be ignoring that energy. They don't want to hear anything uh, that this person has to say right now. And a lot of you, it's because it's just a lot of drama. Like, nobody wants to deal with that all the time. <laughs> nobody has time for that. Yeah, somebody could just be focused on their finances here. For some of you guys, this person definitely was moving too fast within a situation. Or maybe they were about that life, right? So maybe they also hooked up with somebody else that was about that life. But that person wasn't about them. And I know they're realizing that right now. Yeah. Somebody is regretting hooking up with somebody. Most definitely here. Why is this person bitter? Like, what's this bitter about? bitter lesson at hand boss ceo owner they could be bitter at they could be bitter as at, uh, at uh, somebody within their job for some of you they could be bitter at a family figure okay a father figure another masculine figure or they could be bitter at the fact that you guys are in this boss energy here somebody feels like they would have been more productive more abundant had they been together with you Somebody also could be bitter because of what they've been doing for money or how they've been making making money in general here. Yeah, there's a lesson at hand here. Somebody is definitely learning a lesson. Yeah, with fake smiles here. They feel like they were sleeping with the enemy. Somebody literally just smiling in their face and then trying to... Uh, trying to end things for them behind their back here yeah and this is like some person does not want to get the hint right it says caution a karmic person is resurfacing here or this could be be careful this could be somebody coming towards y'all and they still are in this karmic energy here okay and they're going to be um acting like everything is okay with them okay maybe even acting like um this person has an angle or an agenda right so that's giving you a heads up for some of y'all yeah, we have over here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But what is this talking about, right? The fourth house, something going on within a home. The Scorpio energy, eighth house, right? Something involving other people's money or something could even be involving the occult, right? Um, or is involving some type of ending, okay? With Piscean energy and ending to illusions. So an ending to illusions with whoever somebody was partnered together with. Yeah, they see the truth now. They see the truth. There was way too many mind games here. Way too many mind games within that situation. Now somebody's tripping on you having some type of nervous breakdown, okay? Can't cope. They could have some different type of financial stresses as well. Yeah, this person that was a player here. This person, this player having a nervous breakdown that you done rejected them. That you done cut them off here. Oh, well. <laughs> right? Yeah, we have provoking one and a negative reaction. This is somebody that wants that. Baby, they'll settle for any type of reaction from y'all. Okay. 
any type of reaction from y'all. But for some of you, these are multiple different energies that are coming in. Let's see what else. Yeah, got the four of wands again. Some of you guys are going to be getting into a new relationship. Most definitely. Eight of swords. What is this about for the collective? Three of swords and the will of fortune here. Wow. And the four of wands. Wow, somebody is so heartbroken and stuck within their head overthinking because somebody is stepping into their north node or their destiny or they're being called to so that they can come into a union with y'all. Whether it's a reunion or it's me you meeting somebody new and somebody in their background just not wanting to accept that a chapter is over here. Yeah, somebody is tired of being miserable within that situation. So if you meet new love, very well just know that, you know, they're probably going to tell you about how they past person did them. Okay? Well, I definitely see that here with the three of swords, eight of swords, a lot of betrayal here. Okay, for some of you guys, that person could be um, divorced as well. But this is somebody that's made a decision that they're not going to go back to whoever else they're dealing with. So whoever this is from the past, baby, they need to hurry up and get it, get it together because you already have other energies coming towards you or around you here that you're going to be dating or entertaining to date. Yeah, somebody very passionate about you guys here. Okay, for some of you guys, this is another soul connection that's coming in. Ooh, the king and queen of wands. Wow, that's a sexy ass match. <laughs> Listen. Okay, so if you're very charismatic, I mean, this person is going to be a match for you. And the attraction will definitely be mutual with the king of wands and the queen of wands. The six of cups. If you guys are looking at new love, this is someone that you guys could even have maybe kids with for the first time or a blended family with this is somebody that's attractive you're very attractive a lot of different people might even look at you guys when you're out together um and this is somebody that is going to take action towards you they're not going to play games here they're not going to be sitting around overthinking you know coulda woulda shoulda in the background here yeah yep that's what I'm seeing here. So we have new love and we have past love here. Regardless, tell me about that uh, Will of Fortune there. Tell me about that Will of Fortune. The Ten of Wands. The Eight of Cups. The, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Will is, is turning in your favor here because it, you had past connections where it's like people could have been non-committal or they were afraid to leave another situation. Okay, they could have, for some of you, they could have been players. You could have been heartbroken, okay? Um, it's like you put everything into situations and these people were doing the bare minimum here. And the divine is seeing that and is about to bless you and saying the will is turning in your favor because now you're going to meet somebody that is, um, that is going to reciprocate your time, your love, your energy here, okay? And it's going to be multiple people coming through here. I see Aries, Leo, Sag. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy here. Yeah. Somebody also could be putting an end to some type of partnership. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Maybe they're going to tell you that they're getting a divorce. That could even be a past person, y'all. That's finally getting a clue. Instead of being over here sulking and and... And, and stressed and jealous and obsessed, wondering what the hell y'all are doing or why they've been out here doing the most. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Go ahead and put some hearts down below as well as some champagne glasses because um, y'all going to be booed up with somebody. I definitely see it here. It's going to be a sexy match too. You know, I'm all for that. <laughs> Love you guys. Namaste.